your sales are slow, but eBay told us this was going to happen. And so I'm gonna to talk to you about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And back on the 20th of April, I made this video right here, and it was for the eBay seller update. And in that update, we covered a few things, but one was the updates that eBay had planned on doing to certain categories with item specifics and just the categories in general. And in that update, they stated that it was going to affect even visibility of many of your items. Well, May came, people started noticing the new changes to the views, how, uh, as, as you recall, eBay has changed the views from a lifetime view to a 30-day rolling view, and that alarmed a lot of people. In addition, people were seeing watchers, but no views. And I think that there's a lot of people that sort of assumed that the watchers would also roll every 30 days, but it doesn't make sense, it wouldn't do that. If you get a watcher on an item, there's no need to remove that watcher after 30 days. Whereas if you get a view on an item, the way eBay has it set up after 30 days, that view is no longer there. And the idea is if you have an item, eBay of course wants you to be able to promote that item to your watchers, so they're not gonna get rid of the watchers after 30 days. So you may have had when eBay did this change, you may have had a lot of views, you may have had some watchers, and then you went to zero views along with the same watchers. So some of you may have had watchers without views, and that would be the logical reason why some of us have seen that, and that has been reported on a lot of uh, eBay forums. Now getting back to the warning though that eBay gave us, back on the 18th of May, eBay did remind us what the seller update stated. And that is we announced in our most recent seller update that we've revised some categories and item specifics to help make your listings easier to find on eBay and by external search engines. Starting today, you'll see updates in the following categories, business and industrial sinks, collectibles and toys, electronics, cameras, health and beauty, COVID tests, home and garden, parts and accessories, wheels and tires, sporting goods, golf and cycling, and watches. During this transition, your listing experience could be temporarily impacted, as well as the, the visibility of your listings. You may notice some item specifics changing names, listings move to different categories, or some listings temporarily not appearing in searches. Any affected listings should return to normal within a week, so that would have placed, one week would have placed it to about the 25th of this last month. Although some effects to listings, visibility, and searches may continue for up to three weeks, which would put us probably within the next week, week and a half, if we're talking the full three weeks. So that would explain some things. And you know, you get a lot of people complaining, hey, I'm getting no sales, I'm getting no views. And it could be that you're selling in one of these affected categories. But here's the problem. Once things get back to normal, right? We're entering a summer slowdown. So how would you really even know? You're going from a busy period, which is the spring uh, period is usually a busier time to sell on eBay to now a much slower period. And you know it's very difficult to discern if there's a problem with eBay or if it's just summer slowdown coupled with a bad economy, like we've talked to about many times on this program. So the bottom line is this, you can't panic, right? You gotta kinda just go with the flow. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You know, you can think outside the box kinda like what I'm doing Think of other ways to get eyes on your items, maybe outside of eBay, maybe cross-listing to other sites like Mercari if you're selling clothes, uh, Poshmark if you're selling collectibles, Etsy. These are viable alternatives 
and it's an alternative. I'm actually working on a project and I'll be talking to you guys about that here within about a week or so once I get everything squared away. But in the meantime, consider other options. Make eBay what you base most of your sales around, but don't be afraid to branch out and to get your items out there for others to see on other platforms. Let me just say this. While it sucks to have our items messed with to where buyers aren't seeing it, maybe we're losing an accurate idea of how many people are really looking at our stuff to buy, be thankful that they're not pulling this like they did last year uh, in the Q4 seller update, the winter seller update, right before Q4. Um, that's the time we don't need this kind of mess. Now, that's not to say that won't happen. Let's just hope that the craziness of no one seeing your item, lower views, which results in lower sales, let's just hope it's something that they've fixed with this update. Now, it's hope. Um, based on their track record, it's definitely uh, not likely. Um, hopefully, eBay has learned from their mistakes and won't do something to us in a negative way with the Q4 seller update. Cross your fingers. We'll be talking about that soon, I'm sure. But I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to kind of calm the waters, maybe to give some explanation because there's even some big channels out there who are really not sure what's going on. And while no one's told me this only makes sense. And it's not what I'm saying. This is based on what eBay has put out uh, back on the 18th of May, about two weeks ago. So hopefully in the next week or so, things should normalize. But once we get to that point, what does normal look like when you're dealing with the recession and an early summer slowdown? So this may be something that you're experiencing for the next few months until things pick up, historically at least. I don't know what the economy is gonna look like, so that might uh, negate any kind of pickup. Let's hope not. If you rely on this income, much like I do, it's time to look for creative ways where you can get your, your listings out in front of more people. And uh, another way to play this game of slowdowns is to get more items up, play the numbers game. So if you're used to having a 200 item store, try to get it to 400. Um, that theoretically will double your current sales to where maybe your sales are normal, right? Um, try to just build your store. That's another way you can try to combat this uh, uncertainty. You know, it's not within your control. So really it's not worth getting worked up. Instead, it's worth Spending the time, instead of letting the situation cause anxiety and uncertainty, which affects other areas of your life, sit down and figure out ways and ideas where you can actually try to branch out and try to make more money. For some, it's uh, maybe doing some Uber deliveries, right? For some, it's maybe picking up a shift at your current, current job if you're able to do that. But get creative and figure out how to maximize your time and how to get your items either in front of more eyes or get more items put out there on the market. So I'm a little bummed out today. Um, as you notice, I'm still wearing my Flippin' Ain't Easy hat. Click the link below to get your Flippin' Ain't Easy merch. Only for the next couple days to the 5th of June will you be able to get that 15% off. Now I'm a little bummed out in that I ordered a shirt, Jenna ordered a shirt, and I was hoping to wear it for you, but my carrier gave my package to who knows whom when they delivered it. It shows delivered in the tracking. Now, I thought I was gonna have to buy another one. I reached out and they said, you know what, don't worry. Um, as long as you've tried to uh, get your package from the carrier, they told you that they don't have it, um, you've checked with your neighbors, which I did, then we'll go ahead and uh, produce uh, two new shirts for you and get them out to you. Now, I thought that was excellent customer service. Kudos to them for taking care of me. Uh, it's good customer service and uh, heard nothing but good things. Like I said, Biscuit Butts said his shirt was really good quality and uh, I thought that was awesome. So as soon as I get it, I'll wear it here on my next video and give you guys an idea of what it looks like. But go check it out for yourself. In fact, when you guys order stuff, 
you know, whatever colors you choose and what logos you choose, uh, we get a chance to, to, you know, we get an email and it shows us what you ordered. So uh, I think it's kind of cool. Now, of course, they don't give us your address information or who you are, but it says that an order comes through and it shows us what was sold. And you guys are really doing some cool stuff, some cool colors. Uh, I think the designs are really good that, that Jenna put together. So click the link down below. And even if you have no intentions on buying anything, just give it a look. Maybe you'll see something that you like. I just want you guys to stop worrying about the things you can't control. Of course, be in tune with your traffic. There's nothing wrong with, with checking the reports, seeing where your store is at, checking your items, seeing what kind of eyes are looking at your products. But right now, at least for the next couple weeks, and maybe because of the summer slowdown, the next few months, don't worry so much about low traffic because that's out of your control. What's in your control is making quality listings, getting more items up in your store, and if you're just listing only on eBay, check Mercari for your, you know, your basic general goods, check Poshmark for clothing and accessories. And they they do other things as well, but that's what they're known for. And then, of course, for your collectibles, check out Etsy. So, guys, I want your comments down below. I want to know what you think. Am I, am I spot on based on what eBay's telling us? I can only hope that that's what it is. But uh, they've, given, they've never answered anybody's questions about the lack of views, uh, at least on any forums that I've seen. So I can only assume that it's related to the changes that are still happening, you know, that, that one week has now expired and we're within that two to three week period that they're talking about. And I'm thinking that it will correct itself once they're done playing with whatever they're playing with behind the scenes. So guys, do me a favor. If you enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And you know, while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that when I go live or make another video, you're notified. Crazy things with eBay, when eBay gets their hands on their own software and they start changing things and piddling around with things, it can make your life miserable. But you know what? It's just another sign of how flipping ain't easy. And I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your weekend and we will talk to you very soon.